Hey everybody, Wanna Wisdom here. It is now Wednesday, November 21st, early morning of uh, Wednesday, November 21st. That said, I kind of wanted to go ahead and uh, crank out, I guess, uh, what we'll call just a channel update video, I guess a Thanksgiving edition, if you will. Uh, kind of have stuff laid out here so I don't forget it. I'm pretty tired. But, uh, first off, uh, Skylanders. I have recorded and edited uh, that meaning the videos are ready to go up through part 41. Uh, that said, last night I recorded parts 42 through 44. Uh, those actually correlate to chapter 6. Uh, kind of an interesting chapter. But uh, the cool thing about that chapter, uh, as it worked out, you know, I don't want to spill the beans if anyone's like waiting for the playthrough or anything, but. Uh, Long story short, I got to use Chill, which, you know, was kind of new to me just because GameStop misshipped that triple pack and I didn't have her for so long. Uh, I got to use her uh, quite extensively along with Sprocket. Uh, Flashwing was also used in the level. And uh, then there was a little area where I did get to use, uh, you know, Hothead as well. So kind of the three big new characters, you know, that are the newest to me and, of course, brand new overall. Uh, you know, all made their uh, debuts, if you will, in gameplay. Uh, I have to say, thus far, Box Stock Chill is very impressive. I didn't bring her over here. She's actually on the portal still from last night. Uh, I plan to record Chapter 7 tonight. It's, uh, quite frankly, too late for that. Uh, that said, that will be where I pick up. Uh, don't really foresee picking up uh, any new characters. There's a lot of speculation, you know, maybe we'd see like Thumpback or something come Black Friday. Uh, the sources I know of online that, you know, work in stores and have their stock in. Uh, and if you go by the, uh, you know, eBay scalpers, uh, they don't really have anything up. They usually, some of them will actually pick from the boxes, break street dates, but uh, there's usually at least one or two that do that and then we kind of know what's coming. Uh, that has yet to happen, and uh, that to me is a good indication that uh, we're probably, you know, not going to see anything new. That said, I do think we will see something, uh, you know, maybe either towards the tail end of November and uh, possibly early December. That's actually usually the biggest toy sale time is like roughly two weeks or so before Christmas, believe it or not. Uh, that said, you know, as soon as anything comes out, you know, I'll get in on Twitter and the blog, try my best to help everyone out. What I do know that should be out, a lot of people have actually seen her, some people have her, at least here in America, will be Legendary Stealth Elf. This is obviously just Series 1 Stealth Elf from, uh, SSA, but, uh, she will be a Toys R Us exclusive, will be in the Series 2 pose. Uh, basically take what you see here, kind of make it look like she's ambushing you in giant, you know, turn her arms both up and the daggers out. Uh, kind of gives you an idea of what she looks like, but uh, she should be out at Toys R Us also coming out uh, Thursday night at 8. We have Glow in the Dark Sonic Boom. She's actually a, uh, you know, Series 2 repos. Uh, a lot of people are freaking out about that. Um, there's no way in heck that I am going to set foot in Walmart on Black Friday. Uh, I don't really believe in going in on Thanksgiving myself. Uh, you know, that said, I think the glow-in-the-dark Sonic Boom is something we can expect to see along the lines of the glow-in-the-dark starter pack, meaning that, uh, you know, I think it's going to be fairly abundant. If they do happen to sell out, what Walmart tends to do is just reorder and reorder, and, uh, you know, unlike other stores, they tend to kind of set high, you know, standards for demand. Uh, essentially, I'd look at it kind of like we saw, you know, Translucent Red Drill Sergeant last time, I guess this past spring. Uh, if they do sell out eventually, I mean, there's going to be a truckload of them coming, you know, pretty soon. So, uh, my advice, if you're at all practical or don't like crowds or people or value your car, uh, you know, based on parking lot incidents, I would avoid it and just wait it out. Uh, as best I remember, I don't even think they're knocking the price off any honor, so, you know, no big deal there. There is, uh, however, some new variants that have started to trickle in. Uh, 
they're kind of like what people are calling a sparkle or glitter. Uh, I had someone forward me a picture. Uh, sprocket, uh, for the life of me, I can't think of the other one, uh, but, you know, cut me some slack. I slept like two hours last night, but uh, nonetheless, you know, we've kind of seen the stone or rock variants, you know, uh, I think Zook and, Zook and Whirlwind at this point. And then, uh, like I said, kind of keep your eyes peeled. It might be Sonic Boom, actually. I think it is Sonic Boom and Sprocket are kind of like a, uh, kind of like a metallic-y, sparkly, glittery, I don't really know how to describe it. I'll get a picture up on the blog eventually, but just a heads up if you watch this and you are out in the madness that is people, you know, trying to claim they're doing something for Christmas, uh, go ahead, you know, keep your eyes peeled just in case. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to cover here? Uh, today, uh, the Apple stuff came out. I think it's Battlegrounds or something. I'm not an Apple person, but uh, I know most people are. I'm Android, but uh, I think it's Battlegrounds. It's basically, you know, their version of the game, and uh, it has Royal Double Trouble. That said, uh, here he is. What's interesting, uh, it's actually a standard Double Trouble with the green base. Uh, I'm sorry, it's this pulls, but an orange base in the majority of the packs. That said, it appears that GameStop has landed Royal Double Trouble. Uh, it is this pose, but uh, it's like purple on the backside. And then his uh, face mask here is kind of like this bluish color. It looks really good. Uh, I'm not a fan of purple personally, but I have to say it turned out pretty good. Why they did it on the Series 1 pose and not the Series 2, I'm not quite sure. But, uh, again, it does appear GameStop has that. Uh, early reports, I had a couple people tell me, you know, their store only had two. That seemed to be a common theme. So, you know, if you're an Apple person or you've been waiting for that to come out, keep that in mind. Uh, that is something I'm not going to touch. Uh, if they do release, I actually really like Double Trouble. You know, if he somehow becomes available singularly or in a triple pack, I might go that route. But... Uh, otherwise, you know, I'll just leave that, you know, as is. Uh, I didn't really plan this video out too well. Uh, I did, that kind of reminds me, like I said, laid everything out. Uh, <laughs> I did want to have a new battle tournament up. I don't have time for that either. That said, I think early next week, possibly even this weekend, I might get something up. I've actually debated doing a deal where, uh, we kind of have like a uh, elemental showdown, meaning that I take like Sprocket here, you know, we pit her in a separate poll, you know, first round, or I mean, they'd all be active at once, but she'd basically be up against Trigger Happy, then in another poll, she's up against Drobot, then in another poll, she's up against Drill Sergeant. Uh, it's kind of something that, uh, you know, I thought might be a little different, and then I could actually use that to uh you know seed the new bracket last time i seeded that battle tournament on who was your favorite skylander uh just to make things different and then kind of get it going early uh, i would probably keep those open very briefly but uh you know maybe like a week or 10 days uh only issue there is you know like hot dog i wouldn't have the giants in it uh i'll probably save that for later but like hot dog isn't currently out that kind of makes hot dog versus erupt or hard uh, if you want to you can actually leave feedback here but uh, I thought you know we might could do that to see it like say sprocket you know people think she would beat boomer drobot drill sergeant and trigger happy she would take the number one seed uh, and then if drobot you know went four and one he would take the number two seed uh, you know say boomer people didn't think would win anything he was on five he'd be the last seed of the tech and then I'd come in and kind of take the overall standings and either pair people that way or, uh, it sounds complicated, it's really not. Uh, hopefully, you know, you kind of get where I'm coming from there. But, uh, you know, either on the blog or here on YouTube, you can kind of leave a comment what you think, uh, you know, of that idea. Uh, may or may not do it, I may just kind of seed them based on my personal ranks or something just to get it done quicker. Uh, I'll just kind of know once the time comes, I suppose. Uh, Next thing I guess I want to talk about is the Wii U. Uh, obviously, I've done the unboxing, tried to hit uh, that in Hothead the other night. Uh, real rare for me to get time to do YouTube comments. I kind of wanted to hit the Wii U one. 
Uh, most important thing I can tell you on that, if you do not have an HDMI port on your TV or your computer or somewhere in the house uh, and you own a Wii, you can actually use the uh, multi-out cable uh, with the RCA jacks on it that comes from your Wii. Uh, all you really have to do is pull that plug from the Wii, put it in the Wii U, and you're up and running. Uh, bear in mind the picture quality will suffer. Uh, it's actually pretty noticeable just because it's so clear of a picture on the gamepad. Uh, if it wasn't for the gamepad, I don't think you'd really know because you wouldn't have anything to compare it to, but uh, it's quite a contrast, at least on my TV. Uh, again, I fall in that category, don't have an HDMI port. Uh, and like I said, you know, there's nothing wrong with my TV, you know, aside from being older, so I don't really want to go out and buy a new one type situation. Uh, but that said, there's probably a lot of people out there that are going to get a Wii U and are concerned about that, but that's a simple workaround. Uh, if you don't have a Wii and you're getting the Wii U, uh, all those adapters for PS3 and 360 should work. If not, the Nintendo cables should be stocked. Uh, I think Toys R Us for sure has them. Nintendo's website, you can probably find them online. I don't think you're going to spend 10, 20 bucks to get them. Uh, you know, so that is good news there. Uh, it's not the point where you have to like go out and buy a $300 TV or something. Uh, that said, I uh, have done all the updates on the Wii U. I've actually played each of the three games I picked up, albeit very, very briefly on them. Uh, all three are great. Uh, tonight, I actually just turned it on to uh, set up you know, my account. Uh, I got that confirmation code and had never done it. Uh, Miiverse is very, very slick. Uh, I mean, it's almost like a Nintendo social network or something. Uh, you've probably heard friends or somebody, you know, you follow or something talk about it, but I mean, it's it's pretty dadgum cool. Uh, I actually spent time tonight just like randomly exploring a crowd of me's, uh, seeing what people had to say, you know, things like that. Uh, I actually shoot a, I think I shot like two friend requests, followed a couple of people, you know, just kind of getting a feel for everything. Uh, if you have a Wii U, uh, I'm one of Wii's them on there. Uh, you're welcome to track me down. You can just punch the name in. Uh, you can follow me. I'm not quite sure on the friend list what I'll be able to do. I just know on the Wii, uh, they jacked with the internet out here and they've never really fixed it where I live. Uh, I used to play Mario Kart, you know, with friends all the time. And uh, then it got to the point that I was that guy that always got disconnected that no one wanted to uh, have anything to do with. And, uh... So far, I mean, it seems like it stayed pretty snappy with the Wii U, but that said, until I kind of play with it, you know, I don't really know that I'll be of much use there, but uh, uh, it's it's really cool. Uh, if you're thinking about getting a Wii U, I would suggest you find a friend or display or something, uh, someone knowledgeable about it, maybe like at GameStop, if they have one themselves, they can sort of explain it to you in person and kind of walk you through things. Uh, if enough people want to see it, I may crank out a video on it or something, but I mean, you just have to take my word for it. It's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, all three games were good, albeit I haven't played them much at all. <laughs> the last thing I guess I want to cover is, uh, you know, Skylanders Giants, you know, getting back to the playthrough. Uh, as mentioned, I have up through part 41 ready to go. Uh, I've kind of been like uploading them in batches of like six to nine, uh, oddly enough. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm really strapped for time. I'm going to be real busy over Thanksgiving. Uh, but what I want to do, that's actually why these three are here. Uh, part 41 was Hothead's introduction and heroic challenge. Since he's brand new and kind of in demand, kind of is like my Thanksgiving treat to everyone, I guess. I'm actually going to upload that. Uh, I think I did get sprockets up. Uh, Flashwing, I think, is like a part or two down from where I left off, but I'm actually going to upload her video, too. Uh, I'm telling you that because they'll be out of order. You know, I'm not going to, like, upload the whole stash. Uh, I don't have that much time. But uh, I do want to get those two up just so people can kind of see it and enjoy it. And, you know, that way if you've got some more downtime over, you know, Thanksgiving, you can check that out. Uh, 
probably late this weekend or Monday I'll kind of get back to uploading the rest of it and then back into chapter 7. But uh, if you see those on the uh, you know YouTube log or something and uh, you have people saying you know you uploaded part 41 idiot where's you know 30 through 39 or something uh, you know if they haven't watched this video you might say hey you know this is just a special deal I'll post a comment but sometimes on the YouTube comments it's like people don't read the description box or watch the video yet they comment and I've not quite figured that out but uh, you know nonetheless I mean if people are confused that's what I'm doing it's I'm trying to make it be a good thing you know knowing that hothead is in such demand right now I thought it'd be kind of cool to do that uh, and that brings me finally to the wrap-up point which is Thanksgiving uh, you know obviously Canada I guess you know you've already had your shindig up there but uh, everyone here in America happy Thanksgiving uh, for whatever reason you you know don't believe in or support Thanksgiving suck it up and play along you probably get a day off of work or school so you know enjoy it make the most of it play some video games or something uh, for everybody else you know hopefully you get to spend some time with your friends and family have fun if you have the Wii U uh, I know you'll have a great time uh, similarly if you've got Skylanders Giants hopefully the downtime you know gives you time to kind of work on some heroics or you know upgrade characters and if you got friends and family in, you know, that usually aren't around, maybe you can get in some battle mode time or something. But uh, I think that's it. This is actually a lot longer than I thought it would be. Uh, Thursday night, glow in the dark, Sonic Boom at Walmart. I think Friday, I can't remember if Toys R Us opens Thursday. I don't, everybody's so nutty this time of year, I can't keep up with it. But uh, Friday, you know, you should be able to find both of them. Legendary Stealth Elf, I have a feeling she'll be out in mass quantity. I don't think it's one of those deals like when Flashwing and Sprocket showed up and they had like six of them that first day. Uh, if you're crazy enough to go out, I think you'll probably wind up with both of them. Uh, and like I said, keep your eye out for those kind of sparkly variant things. Uh, come Monday or so, I'll try. Alright, so I was just about done and the batteries died on the camera. But, uh... Like I said, come Monday, I'll try to get some pictures of those variants up for you. Uh, if I've somehow persevered and gone into a store and landed something, I'll let you know. Uh, I do have a uh, surprise coming in. It, in all honesty, should have been here last week. Uh, it's I don't want to spend a lot of time dwelling on that, but uh, also probably you know Monday or Tuesday I'll kind of get that up. I think you know most of y'all will enjoy it, but. Uh, that's it. Wii U is awesome. Skylanders Giants is great. Uh, going to go ahead, you know, kind of like as a Thanksgiving treat, like whatever you want to call it for everybody. Going to go ahead and upload uh, Flashwing and uh, Hothead's Heroic Challenges. Uh, if you got your 3DS and you're traveling, take it with you by all means. You know, there's a lot of people going to be out traveling. Most traffic holiday of the year. Uh, so maybe you'll get some street pass tags, you know, get some people from new regions or something. Uh, I carry mine with me all the time. It's very rare that I actually get a street pass, so it's always cool when I do. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you do have a 3DS, definitely have it on and carry it with you if possible. Uh, but like I said, you know, these videos will be out of order, you know, but when I kind of get back in the swing of things Monday-ish or so, I'll kind of fill in the gap and then kind of continue on from there. But I'm ready for Chapter 7 in Giants. Uh, really enjoying it. Like I said, uh, I should just kind of start going through the chapters now, you know, up until the point they release characters and I get them type deal. So if I do wind up with Legendary Stealth Elf, I mean, that'll be like one video. It won't be anything major like we've had here lately. But uh, it's pretty much it. Uh, on Wii U, like I said, you know, you can follow me if you want to. Uh, you can send a friend request if you so inclined. That said, I kind of want to see how my internet reacts before I kind of get like too in-depth with the online end of things. Uh, like I said, no one likes the person that gets disconnected and interrupts their games. So that's usually me. Uh, you know, not my fault. It's ISP, but uh, quite frankly, they could care less. So, you know, kind of up a creek there. But uh, like I said, happy Thanksgiving. Hope everybody has a great time. Uh, if you've got a Wii U, you know, enjoy that. Get some Skylander Giants time in. And, uh, you know, like I said, if somebody's 
going crazy because the videos are out of order or something uh you know if you're so inclined or have the time you can tell them it was kind of meant to be that way so uh just kind of wanted to crank that out i will uh early in the week everything will kind of get back to normal you know thanksgiving will you know subside uh in the very near future you know we should see uh most of the game playing giants coming out uh, I'll try to mix in a little Wii U stuff. I'll continue to update that on the blog. Battle tournament, you know, don't forget to give me your ideas on that kind of, you know, elemental showdown type thing to determine seating. And uh, I believe that's it. It kind of threw me off when the batteries died. The wrap up probably didn't need to be that long, but uh, bear with me. I'm extremely tired. Uh, I slept like two hours the last two nights. So. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to, you know, quit rambling on here. Hopefully everyone's getting some sleep. And like I said, you know, have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. And uh, again, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, happy Thanksgiving.